Glassing beams. It's a devastating leader power that can wipe your whole army. But it's not that hard to avoid, so let's talk about it. Today we're going to be showing you how to move your troops out of the way. So the first thing I would like to point out while we're watching this clip um, is the more experience I see players get, the more they pay attention to their army. The more experience you'll have, the, the less time you look at your base, the more time you look at your army. And what I mean by that is most people are so caught up on building their base that they get glassing beam and they lose their whole army. Whereas you see pro players and experienced players, they watch their army about 90% of the time, maybe even more. And it's you rarely ever catch them off guard. Sometimes it happens, but it's way more rare. So now I want to go over exactly how to dodge a glassing beam. So let's start here. We got some marines, and this is going to be the super basic way. I like to move them in a direction, and then we're going to move half the other way. We want to see which way the glassing beam goes. If it goes this way, then I'll split this group. Then we're going to watch it again. If it follows this group, then I'll split that. But essentially, you split it in half, and then whenever your opponent follows one of the halves, you mainly pay attention to that half only. You don't need to worry if the other group is is grouped up or not. So split half, split here. If the glass and beams come to this, see I'm ignoring the other ones. I'm just worried about these because I'm pretending in my head that glassing beams are following me. Now I'm going to do it one more time. I will have many examples of me dodging glassing beams live in this video so that way you can see what it looks like with a beam on you. Fun fact time for Halo Wars 2. Did you know if you place a flag down and something's chasing you and trying to ram you, they can ram into the flag using their ability up where they can't ram again. And it also stuns the unit a little bit. This is really good for you to dance around the flag and get away. All right, so here we are for a live example of a level one beam. Put a little bit too much emphasis on the units that weren't getting chased. But we lost two Marines. That's not too bad. Level 2 beam. And you're just splitting the units, but only the group that the glassing beam follows. I also would like to go over the speed of the glassing beams and also the telegraph. The telegraph is if you watch the marker hit the ground, then the beam hits the ground. The telegraph is how many seconds it takes for the beam to hit the ground after the reticle. And here we go. Level 1 is 2 seconds. Level 2 is 2 seconds. Level 3 is 3 seconds. And as for the speed, all beams move at the same speed. You'll see that the red beam starts off faster, but the other ones stay by its side. So this is heavy metal right here. And um, so I would like to take a second on heavy metal that if you're in a spot where you cannot move, whether it be a maelstrom, whether you just be boxed in some reason, you're in a choke point, you just can't micro, then the heavy metal resto is a possibility. You could also just do heavy metal and then micro the best you can. That works, that works as well. Um, but if you can micro, choose micro from versus a glassing beam than heavy metal. Heavy metal is better for like a Mac blast where it's just instant damage. You heavy metal your troops. Don't, don't worry about resto, but heavy metal your troops, boom, and then it takes way less damage. Or if you're about to get rammed by a lot of choppers or ghosts or warhogs and you're trying to save a hero or something, you can heavy metal that hero and they do way less damage. 
So the next one is teleport. This is probably the most useful leader power to get out of so many scenarios. So teleport, it, you just you barely take any damage. It's instant. You have invincibility frames when you teleport as well. So great, you know, great usage there. Pelican can get bigger units like heroes, colossus, grizzlies. It can get those units out of the glassy beam. But don't do it with marines, because they'll probably die before the pelican picks them up. Follow me on my Patreon, where I hold exclusive content about Halo Wars 2, such as raw data that is updated regularly, and glitches that I rotate monthly. And must see, since this is the only place to find out how to break Halo Wars 2. So this is whenever you get better at you know, using or splitting, you can drop a leader power at the same time as splitting. Now a lot of times, like in this example, the leader power itself kind of glitches my units where they don't move for a little bit with Erad and probably Scatterbomb we'll see in a little bit. But Reign of Fire, as you can see, doesn't glitch the game. That was really good. Let's take a look at the enemy team. They that got uh, annihilated. Same thing here with Jerome. So we lost a little bit. Let's go look at the enemy team. Annihilated. So napalm missiles. Usually you won't get napalm missiles. You'll get like turret drop for, with Kinsano. But it would be, let's just see how it works. Still really, really devastating. Um, Inferno is crazy. So basically, this is giving them an ultimatum. Are you going to dodge my leader power by hitting B on your glassing beam? Or are you going to glassing beam me and lose all your units? That This is basically what I'm saying. It's like, this is the ultimatum. But yeah, so we went over to use teleport to get out of the way. Heavy metal to get out of the way. Um, you can just micro out of the way, or you can give your opponent an ultimatum. So all of these ways work perfectly fine, and you can practice by yourself. You don't have to have someone glassing beaming you to practice splitting your units. So go in customs and try to split your units until it becomes second nature, and then you'll lose way less battles. Very good in an engagement. Another thing is try to split in the direction away from your enemy. You don't want to split your units and going towards the enemy because they're going to pick those units off so you're basically just sending those units into the death into their death so you might as you just wasted effort because you might as well have just left them in the glassing beam at that point so always try to split in the direction away from your enemy until next time guys see y'all later